Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is still currently in theaters as of August 2023 and this review will be spoiler free but is it still worth checking out or are you better off waiting for streaming services? This new Mission Impossible movie is the 7th installment in the franchise but don't quote me on that because these franchises have lost me nowadays trying to keep track. This is part 1 of the 7th movie so I'm assuming that part 2 which will hit theaters in a few years will be movie number 8. Now this new story follows the main character we all know and love that being Ethan Hunt played by Tom Cruise. Ethan works for the IMF which stands for the Impossible mission force which they now have to work together to track down a terrifying new weapon that threatens all of humanity if it falls into the wrong hands and when i say hands you, you gotta focus on the hands when you're watching this movie one minute this person got it and next minute you're not watching the hands the other person got it. you know and it's like hold up give me a hug next minute they got your car keys right so you gotta focus on the key the key the key the key DJ Khaled. I got the keys 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 i got the keys and don't focus on my hands, right? These are out of control. I can't help it. I'm Italian. That's an excuse. Let's keep it moving. Now, this new weapon in the movie is a very superior, highly advanced form of artificial intelligence technology, otherwise known as our new best friend, AI. Yes, yes, yes. Gang, gang. Yes, strong woman. Yes, strong woman. Travis, money gun. I got your name. Wow, a lot of gifts. For you. Hey ha, yes. You got me feel like a cowgirl. Let me ready your time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, thank you, baby. This is so cute. Rah, 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 rah. Mm, that was good. Eliminate. Rah, 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 rah. Gang, gang. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, strong woman. Ice cream so good. Yes, popcorn. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Balloon. Balloon. Did you know that people like this are live streaming every day on TikTok making thousands of dollars acting like NPCs or AIs? It's freaking ridiculous. I highly suggest don't even watch. Stay off it. It is so dumb. But are we the dumb ones because we're not making money? I mean, listen, if you want to put yourself out there, go right ahead. That's on you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I miss the days when we only knew and referred to AI as Alan Iverson. This guy is one of my idols growing up. Absolute legend. I'm sure that we can all agree. And especially now, more than ever, we need Alan Iverson, AI, to fight against this new AI. I was actually hoping that I would see AI, Alan Iverson, in this movie somehow. Like, somehow he's talking to Tom. They both skydiving in the air, both at the same time. Or he comes out of nowhere like, yo, what's up, Tom? All right, man, we're not practicing. I'm going to see you tomorrow, though. See you at the bottom. But unfortunately, Alan Iverson was not in this movie, so the fate of the world relies once again on Ethan Hunt to save the day as we follow him race around the world trying to find out who is behind this new weapon and trying to abuse its power. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the plot of the story, and I didn't want to spend too much time on that since the story is very straightforward. However, there are still some great aspects about this movie that I want to share with you. Now, yes, despite the common plot about saving the world, the script did come off very serious and kept you engaged way more compared to the recent Transformers movie. Both of these movies kept talking about how they need to retrieve, you guessed it, Major Key Alert! That's right, the key, we got it, thank you. Now what was also very serious was the acting in this movie. I'm talking about top tier, flawless, everyone on point, and guess what? Your boy City got a new crush, oh yes he does. I was questioning her back in the Marvel days, like is she crush worthy? I don't know, but something about her. After watching this new movie, major shout out to actress Hayley Atwell, because I really thought she stole the show. Okay, maybe not stole the show, because Tom Cruise obviously did an amazing job, as well as the whole entire cast. I don't want to shout out all of them, because this video would take forever, but I do hope if that this cast in this new movie is going to be in future Mission Impossible movies, because you know the coming out with a part two and god knows what after that but i do look forward to watching the entire cast of this movie and upcoming movies so let's hit the pause button because i am honest here right i have to make another confession once in a while i gotta let you guys know and i need to do better but out of all the mission impossible movies my favorite has to be let's see right let's count them one two the third one the fourth one the fifth one the sixth one seven one it has to be the third one the third one why because that's, I think that's the only one that I remember watching from back in the day. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. There's just something about that ending in that movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but it has to do with CPR. Like sometimes you just got to beat the shit out of someone to bring them back. You just got to, you know, but here's why it's my favorite. Like I said, I don't really recall watching the other ones and I'm sure I've seen parts, but I don't really have deep memories of the franchise like that. So going into this new installment, I was kind of a new fan to the franchise. And what really got me wanting to see this movie was obviously the cinematography and extreme obvious stunt performances from the legendary Tom Cruise. I mean, just looking at this trailer for this movie it looked visually stunning in regards to the locations shot selections and depth of colors portrayed and trust me you get all that shown while watching this film now the stunts we could talk about this shit forever but let's see the, the car chase right the car chase scene such as the one in rome was a blast absolute blast because tom is one of the few creators left in show business who relies on doing actual stunt work so when you see them driving that car with no door on the side i mean they really doing shit like that in this movie real life stuff unlike the indiana jones movie with that lame ass green screen and i don't care if harrison ford is 80 years old right because hear me out 
Tom is going to be easily doing that shit when he's in his 80s. We can already see it happening. Now, as for how or why he's going to be able to do that in his 80s, I don't know. Probably Scientology. They're giving him this unlimited life force, and I don't care. I'm not joining Scientology, even if they do live down the street from me. I don't need to be jumping off a cliff like that. I'm good. I'm good for now. Tom, I'm pretty sure, is about 60 years old doing these stunts, so do the math. That guy is the real deal. When they promoted him driving a motorcycle off a cliff and into a skydive parachute, I mean, we have never seen an actor, big-time actor, pull off that type of stunt before. For, nor do I think we will ever see something like that for a long time. Like who is crazy enough with all that money, fame, and success to risk something like that for the sake of art and cinema? I'm truly honored to have witnessed something like that in my lifetime. It was truly a masterpiece of a scene that deserves all the recognition and credit. And you know, another scene comes to mind while watching this movie that I think they copied directly from another movie, shot by shot. I don't care. I'm gonna call it out because I'm a lover of cinema. But I know if I was in this scene, if this happened to me in real life, oh no, I'd be shitting bricks. I'd be shitting. Nope, nope, no. Nope. Here's a clip from when I'm I'm definitely sure they've referenced and you know what let's just be glad that tom cruise didn't have to fight off and face any dinosaurs right because if he did let's not even give him any ideas because in this next movie he, we might see him fighting off against a dinosaur that's something that i don't want to see for the sake of him because he's gonna real life do this shit somehow he's gonna bring the dinosaurs back and he gonna knock them to fuck they're pushing us over the cliff Now it's a close race to the top as my favorite for the Jurassic Park movies. That second one probably has to be my favorite. I don't care if you disagree, we could fight on it. It is what it is. I'm checked out, but I'm also checked in if you know what I'm saying. But in summary, even though the plot was bland, the script was still very engaging with different layered villains and serious tones of acting deliveries. Plus, in my opinion, even though I'm not as experienced with the other Mission Impossible films, I did think that this may be one of the funniest out of the franchise, but let me know if others had more comedy than this one. Tom Cruise is known for always leveling up and increasing his stunt work opportunities, so I think we can all agree that this movie has the ultimate best performances yet. We now live in an age of cinema where the action scenes are completely bluntly fake, such as the Fast and Furious franchise, so although these risks are extremely high, I do appreciate Tom for taking these chances for the sake of art and genuine creativity. It's absolutely breathtaking and these very suspenseful action scenes will go down in cinema history. Dad, Tom Cruise won't come out of the closet. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys. Yes, yes, yes. So a vibe for this channel just means it was a really good movie, eight out of 10. Reason being for me is just a good movie is because as you're watching it, the, the script, although they make it sound fancy with artificial intelligence, it is kind of very straightforward. And I swear, I almost forget to almost answer the question that I mentioned from the beginning of this video, which is, is this worth watching in theaters or holding off for streaming services? Now check it out. This is like in the game, right? I'm uploading this now. This movie came out like over a month ago. So as I'm looking at like theaters right now, it's not in IMAX anymore. So I probably would hold off and just wait till it hits streaming services. Because an action movie like this with his stunt work, you want to see on the big screen like IMAX. Hold up, here's a poster that I'm going to show off. I don't care if this review is super late in the game because I love showing off the posters. This is the poster you get from, I believe, IMAX. Yes, has it in the corner. I do like the simplistic look of this. Uh, oh, they have him jumping off the bike right there. It is cool. It is definitely cool. What's the word? Uh, minimal? Minimalistic? Is that like that that thing that was going on where you know you try to throw all your shit or donate your stuff and live a minimal lifestyle? It is like a minimal poster. But he's not doing minimal stuff. He is ridiculous. And I look forward to him in other movies. Just please be safe. But let me know what you guys thought about this movie. If you were a fan of the franchise, let me know genuinely. Do you think this was, this had the best action thus far while also having the most comedy? Do I have to catch up? I do have to catch up on these movies and I will. I probably will do a ranking video in the future whenever this franchise will come to an end. I mean, God dang, we're on part one. Hopefully part two is the end. But I mean, I don't know what more else he could do that's realistic. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, then consider clicking that like button. And also, if you're new here, consider subscribing. This way you can stay updated with more fun reviews uploaded weekly. And thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. And peace out. This was crazy, but peace. Oh,